Hey everybody, we're out here at a remote location in central Kentucky and today we're going to show you how we install a solar aeration system. Hey everybody, I'm Adam Charlton with Aquatic Control. I'm the Kentucky and East Tennessee Regional Operations Supervisor. Today we're out in a remote location in Central Kentucky. Uh, we're on a customer's private farm. It's about 300 acres. We're about a mile and a half off the main road. No power anywhere. There isn't even a house on this property. This customer purchased this property uh, with the expectations of developing a nice pond back here, kind of make it the focal point of the property. A place to bring his, his boys, um, family members, come back here have a quality fishing experience, have a place to deer hunt, and uh, really just enjoy this property for what it is. So we've got several things going on here. We, uh, we've got this customer set up on our monthly lake maintenance program. We come out once a month throughout the summer. Uh, we inspect it for weeds and algae and, and make applications as needed. So we just did the first treatment today. Um, we'll go ahead and tell you, we'll show you here in a few weeks what this looks like. Um, this customer also wanted to go ahead and, and stock the pond. This, this pond was just renovated last fall. So he really, he's really trying to get to you know, an end goal of a nice quality fishery here. He's a, little, he's a little nervous that there's some green sunfish, maybe some undesirable species in there. So we recommended a fish eradication to do in front of the stocking coming up. Um, we did apply a fish toxicant, print fish, active ingredient, wrote known today, uh, just to make sure that there's no undesirable species in here that those stocked fish are going to compete with. Now following up in about two to three weeks, we're going to come back out and, and stock uh, largemouth bass, bluegill, and, and channel catfish. All right, let's talk about the real reason we're here today, the solar aeration system. This is a three panel system. We've got three solar panels up here. We've got a quarter horsepower electric motor. Um, we've got four inch nominal uh, steel piping that we've concreted in the ground. Uh, there's, a, there's a few really important things here, obviously, that uh, you have to do right at the beginning to make sure this is a smooth install. You've got to make sure that the pipe is, is deep enough. We've got three feet in the ground concreted in to keep it from, you know, heaving and thawing in, in the winters. Um, got everything level, everything's perfectly, perfectly level. And then we've got our solar arrays are facing dead south, that's very important. And then depending on the latitude of where you're doing the installation, you need to set the angle towards the, uh, towards the southern sky just right. We're at about a 34 degree angle here, uh, which is just right for our latitude to catch the most sun, to basically have the most output of our solar system. So why do you want an aeration system in your pond anyway, right? Let's talk about two key things. First is uh, stratification in the summer. This system is designed to roll this whole body of water over once every 24 hours. That's the goal, to make sure that there's not a super concentrated, you know, heavy, heavy oxygenated layer of hot water sitting on top of a dead zone of cold water. That's what we don't want, where your pond is basically cut in half. In that scenario, your fish are basically forced to that top, maybe four to six feet in an average farm pond, and you're, not getting, you're basically not getting the use out of your whole pond. So this system is mixing all that water together and adding some oxygen, um, but it's basically, you know, you could say almost doubling the, the available volume of the fish in the summer, to the fish in the summer. The other uh, major important thing about this is that it's gonna, it's gonna guard against fall turnover, um, which goes back to that stratification. When in all summer, you've got that really hot, super saturated, high oxygen level of um, hot water sitting on top of the oxygen devoid cold water layer. You've all, you've all seen those graphs. Uh, and then in the fall, you know, we get a, maybe a first cold, uh, maybe a week of cold nights. That top layer, maybe the, you know, the first four or five inches of it gets kind of super cooled, falls down because it's heavier through the hot water, and then does a turnover. Basically, the, the pond turns upside down. All that mixing brings all that nasty oxygen devoid water from the bottom up into the rest of the water column. And so kind of, you know, almost overnight, your fish are going from a really high oxygen scenario to maybe half of what they had. Maybe it's cutting, or maybe even more than that. Maybe they're losing over half of their oxygen. And that's when you have a, a fish kill due to fall turnover because you've got a big oxygen depletion from all that nasty water on the bottom that has no oxygen. 
being mixed out throughout the water. This is gonna guard against that. Okay, so why did this customer decide to go with solar aeration? Um, solar makes sense in a couple, couple situations, basically. Uh, in this particular uh, situation, like we already talked about, you know, we're a mile and a half from the main road. We don't even have a house on the, on the farm here. Um, there was basically two options to get aeration into this pond. We could do a windmill or solar aeration. Um, solar is a little bit more defendable. You know, even, like right now today, you can see, I mean, it's, it's uh, middle of the summer. This is when you need the aeration and a windmill. There's not even a breeze out here. So um, the solar aeration unit is cranking out air uh, where a windmill would really be marginal, if any, benefit at this point right now. All right, so just to wrap up today, you got to see some of the processes we went through to install this solar aeration system. Uh, you got to see the final outcome with the diffusers. You know what the system looks like now, kind of the footprint. Pretty nice, really clean job. Um, pretty low profile, really, for what you're, what you're getting here. Um, and I just wanted to remind everybody, you know, if you, just like this customer, if you've got a, a farm pond in the back of, a, back of your 300 acres or somewhere out in your remote uh, hunting property and you want to make it the focal point of your property, you just want better fishing for the grandkids, whatever it may be, don't, don't let that thought of, well, I don't have any power anywhere near, don't let that, you know, stop you from achieving your goals. We can, we can bring this kind of an aeration system to your pond basically anywhere. If you've got a clear view of the southern sky, we can, we can aerate your pond. Uh, so, again, just uh, thank you for watching the video. Keep aquatic control at the top of your list for all your lake and pond management needs, and give us a call if you're ready to put a solar aeration system in your pond.